I have decided to bring you my honest thoughts on the One Piece dub. The Funimation dub. Yeah, not the four kids dub. I don't need to make a video on that. But I want to do a video giving my thoughts on the dub of One Piece. Now, I do want to make it clear that this is not me starting a sub versus dub debate. I don't want to see in the comments, Oh, you're an idiot, being the sub is better, or you're stupid, you dumbass, the dub is way better, and you're stupid, who wants to read subtitles? I don't want to see that crap. Alright, please try to understand the point of this video is for me to give my opinion on the dub and just share it out there with you guys. Not for us all to argue over what is better. The sub is the original version. You enjoy the dub? Fine. Good for you. I wish I did, but I don't. Now, as you can see, I have right here. It should be like right here. I have a video. We are going to watch a very brief scene from the dub. I want to avoid getting copyright. No, it's literally going to start and begin at the exact point. We're just going to listen to Luffy when he tells Whitebeard to shut up in English. Let's uh, get started. Uh, shut up! You don't know! You don't even know me! Ah, uh, okay. Okay. First of all, at this point in the sub, I, would, I think it's safe to say that Luffy has already started talking to Whitebeard about the title of Pirate King. You know, he said, in the sub he said something on the lines of, Shut up, that's not for you to decide. But, in this, shut up, you don't even know me, it's just, no. No. What did knowing him, what did, what did white beard not knowing you have to do with anything? That doesn't make any sense. That didn't make any sense. In the Japanese version, he tells him that white beard can't tell him what to do. In this, he did tell like, Whitebeard that they don't know each other. Whitebeard doesn't know you. He knows that you two don't know each other. You've never met before. I mean, no. Funimation. Let's continue. I know what you're up to. Yeah, you want to be the king, huh? Okay, can we talk about the wording? I know what you're up to, and you want to be the king, really? Yes, that is... Close to at one, he said Pirate King, or King of the Pirates. And you, if you want to have it say King of the Pirates, fine, that's the official translation. I just prefer the Japanese translation of Pirate King. That, that's besides the point. The point is, is that he is, Luffy doesn't seem to, what am I going to say? Ah, uh, this scene bothered me. And then one of my favorite scenes in the series, I really wanted them to do this correctly. <laughs> you let it, let it continue. First, you gotta go through me. Got it? I know. Okay. No. Shut up. You don't know. You don't even know me. I know what you're up to. You want to be the king. First, you have to go through me. That is what Luffy said to Whitebeard in the dub. This is what makes Whitebeard the most powerful pirate in the world. Of uh, by title, that is whether he really is the most powerful is debatable, but the most powerful pirate in the world as far as everybody is concerned uh, reputation wise. This is what makes him start to, to respect somebody that doesn't have hockey that could die at the hand of some of these vice admirals. Okay? Can we talk about this for a minute? It's just... In the Japanese... In case you don't know, you only want the dub. I don't know why you wouldn't want the Japanese version. It's so much better. But in the dub, Luffy says, Shut up. That's not up for you to decide. Uh, I know damn well you want to be the Pirate King. Well, I'm the man who's going to become the Pirate King. Or... Let's say that's a rough... You know, I'm paraphrasing there. But that he said something along those lines. This is not what he said. This is not how this thing was supposed to play out. And let's just listen to Whitebeard's voice for a moment. Got it! Got it! Got it! What a cheeky little punk. Can, can, can we... 
Image Japanese. If they for some reason need to add cheeky little punk image app here, they need to add it on. They did. It sounds better. Like White Beard Boy sounds is better in Japanese. I mean, I like. I don't like Fairy Tale very much. Fairy Tale is a bad theory. It's not good. It has a decent dub, and I like him. And I like a Makarov's portrayal of the dub. Did I say his name wrong? I don't know. I haven't seen Fairy Tale, but in like, I've been watching the anime in like three years. To be completely honest with you, but uh, let's go back to the scene with Jane, which they edited, mind you. And let's talk about a dub change that was made. Now they aren't like the Dragon Ball dub changes. Let me try to explain. The Dragon Ball dub changes were made, yes, but that was different. Those dub changes changed the overall story, and they did affect it. They did. They they, they created plot holes. They were stupid. They made things less consistent. Some of them just made things less cool. But they still, Funimation still improvised, and they did, like, but I am the hope of the new universe speech. It is a not fit Goku character. It is a terrible speech. But the speech itself, the dialogue is good. Like, don't get me wrong, it did not fit Goku. Goku would never in a thousand years say any of that. He would never proclaim himself a savior of the universe. He just wants to fight Frieza. But the dialogue worked. In this, in the thing we're about to watch, it's just like, what the hell am I watching? It's like, because you compare it to the Japanese version, where this is like a very important theme. Like, we don't fully understand what the theme means. It's foreshadowing, and it's, really, it's just on the will of D, and it's, just, it's, very, it's a very important scene and a very impactful scene in the Japanese version. In this, it's just like, um, okay. This is, this is, what Jake did doesn't make shit. Shanks got attacked or make cat them and then, and then he does what he says he does in this. Mind you, the straw hat used to belong to Roger. That was Shanks' treasure given to him by his captain. His captain. The Pirate King. Yeah, let's talk about this. Don't worry, I gave it to a kid. Okay, first of all, Shanks sounds like he's drunk. Jake legitimately, he not sound drunk, he sounds like he's on drugs. Jake sounds like he's on drugs. Like, did you hear him? Don't worry. Like, he, his voice is like, raspy, like he's having trouble speaking. It's like, I don't remember that voice actor doing Jake. I remember Jake having a decent voice actor. I don't know if they had somebody else come in. And I think that's, that's the problem with this scene, is that I don't have the video clip on me, so I can't show you, but if you go back to any lobby, right? I'm gonna. Whoa, hold on. sorry about that. But no, but if you go back to any lobby after Water Seven, he does say to Whitebeard, "I made a bet on a new age," and when in that scene, but in Whitebeard flashback, he said something completely different. Completely different. It doesn't make sense. And it doesn't even have to do changing things. It's like if you want to change the dialogue a bit to make it fit the lip, the left flap. I'm fine with that, but when you make a, when you make really important and really good scenes into scenes that are just like, seem like casual conversation, that's when I have to put my foot down and be like, no, you're doing a bad job. And honestly, there's a lot of other stuff. Like, if you want to, I'm also not a very big fan of a. Uh, Colin Clinkenbeard as Luffy. Because, uh, I will, in the Japanese version, it works, but Colin Clinkenbeard, she's not bad, don't get me wrong. I like her at Gohan. Uh, and you, you know, half of you are probably Tuna, Tuna, Tsunami fans who are going to come and try to figure out where I live and come and kill me for saying this, but I do like Colin Clinkenbeard at Gohan. I, I do not like her at Luffy, and nothing against her as a person. She's a great, she's a great voice actress. She knows what she's doing, she's good at her job. I don't like her as Luffy. Mostly, because it, she has, in the Japanese version, the, the voice, Luffy's voice does change when he's being silly and when he's being serious. It does change, but it's still the same voice. There's like, Luffy doesn't get any higher or deeper. 
it, it only gets a little bit deeper. It doesn't get like different person deep. Like there are times in this where the where her voice is so much deep and deeper when she's serious when Luffy is serious than when he's you know goofing around. The difference in the vo in like her voice from being like look you know high pitched to look to like really really deep is so big. I'm like you can tell. In the Japanese version, you can tell, but it doesn't. It sounds normal. It sounds natural. It sounds like somebody with Luffy voice would sound like when he's angry. And this is like Colin Clink if you had to has a Luffy fighting voice and a Luffy goofing around voice. I don't like that. And a lot, of, honestly, I I feel like also a lot of the times her portrayal of Luffy is really lacking in that um, in a lot of emotion. Like, really lacking in that, like, defiance. Like, the Japanese voice that really had, like, that defiance in the voice. That, like, I don't give a crap attitude. It, it, you can, it's there in his voice. He, it kind of like she's just reading off of a script. Which I know that's what she's doing, obviously. Not a dumbass. She's, uh, of course she's re reading off of a script. That makes perfect sense. But it still pisses me off. Because... There's like no emotion. It's like even back in Dragon Ball and like the 90s stuff, the voice, they were, it wasn't the greatest, but they still, it was decent. It was like there weren't scenes, like I could feel some kind of emotion coming from a character. In this, there isn't. Like, like when Luffy in the Japanese version, when he's standing up to Whitebeard, you can really tell this, like, just by hearing his voice, you can tell he doesn't give a single crap. Not that you could take it without the subtitles, you can tell he's annoyed and he doesn't give a crap. In the English version, it's like he's just speaking loudly, like normal voice, just louder. And it, it annoys me, I, like, but yeah, honestly. It just. I also just don't like the way some things are translated in the dub, personally. Did I like that? Like, Going Mary, I don't see why they couldn't call it the Mary Go. I know we we all we all know if it's Sunny Go. We all we all know, but Straw Hat called the ship in the Japanese version. They will say Sunny Go, Mary Go. I don't see what about call naming a ship Mary Go is difficult for a fan base to understand. It, it isn't like in Dragon Ball when we're when, when we're having names like Tenshin Han. Or when we're talking about like Dodopa. Or I'm trying to give other like really Japanese terms. Gallic Ho. Ga gun is easy. I get that Gallic Gun is easier than Gallic Gun. There's also it sounds a little bit like Ho. Maybe Funimation was afraid of that. I don't know. Ho or Ho or probably the reason they didn't want the air or something that sounded like a word. Ho is another word that people sometimes use for whore. And they probably did not want to put that on television. I get that. I get stuff like that. I get it when you're taking a Japanese word that is way too hard or name that is way too hard for American audiences to say, the casual viewer, and make it in a more simplified version in English. Perfectly fine with me. I'm just gonna get rid of the video now. We don't. We don't, uh, we don't need that. No, but. What bothers me about the One Piece dub is stuff like a Merry Go. We had things in America called Merry Go Round. We have a Merry Go Round, right? So, is it, is it the fact that it's Merry. It, 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 it go Round? With, it is that. As you live in America, I'm sure you can say it with me right now very easily. Merry Go. Sunny Go. These are not hard things to say, and I have no idea why they. Retranslated. I mean, I know the official name of the ship is Thousand Sunny, but the Straw Hats do not constantly call it the Thousand Sunny or the Going Merry. They a lot of the time they say you the Japanese version or in, in, in songs and references you can hear them say Sunny Go Merry Go. There is no reason for that. Just basic stuff that just doesn't make sense to me. It, it really, it really, King of the Pirates. I had no idea why it needed to be changed to King of the Pirates. Maybe somebody can explain to me the difference between Pirate King and King of the Pirates. 
I actually think Pirate King is a more accurate translation because King of the Pirates implies that you are a king that rules over pirates. That's not what the Pirate King is. The Pirate King is the pirate that finds One Piece and has the, and the most powerful pirate in the world. The Pirate King is the most powerful pirate in the world. Who has found the legendary treasure left behind by Gold Roger, One Piece, and conquered the Grand Line and raised Rattel. Or Rattel. Rattel? Rattel! Rattel! Rattel. Rattel. I, I'm not sure. Nobody really knows how to say it. They, we, they, we, they like never talk about it. Maybe we'll understand how to say it properly when we get there in the anime in Zoe. When we get there, when we, when we get to that part of Zoe in the anime. But, no, it's just... It bothered me. The main reason all this bothered me. The main, main reason. is mostly because these, a lot of these changes and stuff make the experience of watching it less enjoyable. With Dragon Ball, you can, if you want to be a casual fan and just watch the dub, you can enjoy the series just as much as you would if you watched it in Japanese. A casual fan can. Some of these changes make the series less, can make, could end up making the series less enjoyable for the casual fan that only really watches the dub. And that is really bothersome. I also don't like it because they take so long to get out these episodes of the dub. I myself expect high quality. I don't know if after I waited like six or seven months for if I, after I've been after I've been waiting years just to see the what the Marine Ford War or the White Bear War in English. I don't know if I've been, I've been waiting to see how they handled it, and they're not doing a good job. I don't like how they're handling it. I really, really don't. I don't like Ace's voice. I do not like Ace. It, it, it even does. Ace sounds like garbage. But Thoreau is decent. I mean, Christopher Stabbe is a great voice actor, so he's decent. But, I mean, the Japanese version is, is so much better. And with Dragon Ball, you can even defend that. The other in the 90s. This is 2016. This company can do a good dub. They can. The Fairy Tale dub is pretty damn good. The, 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 the Dragon Ball Z Kai, good dub. The Red Dragon and the Beth movie, good dub. They've done a good, and all, a lot of their other dubs are good. But their One Piece dub isn't good. It really isn't. In my opinion, at least. I stand it there and I think, you know what, Funimation? Honestly, you guys take too long to give us a dub that isn't very good. If the dub was superb, if it was amazing, I would not mind waiting for it. But I am sick and tired of waiting for this dub to come out when it is bad. How long ago was the time skip in Japanese? Naruto's people say but Naruto dub is far behind. They are not even close to this bad. They really aren't. And especially considering they're probably not as motivated because they're not adapting the canon. They're adapting filler and they're probably like, and those box sets, but filler aren't probably doing well. Like, nobody could go out and buy a bo all those box sets that are just filled with filler. So they're probably, so they're probably like a lot less motivation to make a dub. For Naruto. And the, the, the one beat is like, we have Fit Man Island. Punk Hazard, Dress Rosa, Zoe, we have all this great content up ahead. And people that I would buy. I want to buy these releases with English subtitles. I can't get this stuff on DVD. I can't get the Lucy vs. Del Flamingo fight on DVD. Because guess what? It's not available until they dub it. They're not going to make it available until, until they dub it. I just... Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of pissed off. I, I really did. The really, what kind of what triggered me into making this video, yeah, I was triggered into making it, was I saw the ace death. Now, I'm not going to get into the ace death. I'm really not. Because it, it, we haven't seen aces passing yet. I'm not going to critique them on that. We haven't seen aces like final words to Luffy. But from what we had seen, it is bad. It would be good, honestly. Neither voice has or really seems to have their heart in it. I mean... Well, Ace is green for Luffy with season, but it's still, you know, 
I'm starting to think Funimation just doesn't care about this anymore. And Toei probably just giving them a read. Toei probably knows how much One, One Piece could make. Toei probably wants One Piece to start blowing up worldwide. Especially now their major competitors are gone. Dragon Ball is, of course, but Dragon Ball belongs to them, so that's not a competitor. Bleach is over. Bleach and Bleach is dead. Bleach isn't even a potential threat anymore. So we the form of Bleach manga ended the way it did. There was always believe the anime could come back. Yeah, the anime could come back and just and it could become incredibly popular and destroy and like do better than Dragon Ball Super. That's not happening anymore. Naruto, the canon of Naruto is ending soon. If Toei could make One Piece blow up in the state, they would have Dragon Ball in One Piece. You know how well that would do with both theory and group as just if equally as popular worldwide, you know how much money they would make? I mean, time they play this, you know. So of course Toei is going to push Funimation to keep on doing it. So I imagine probably gets a, a pretty good amount of money for this for Toei. They most likely do. And it's really disappointing because I honestly don't think they really want to dub it anymore. It looks like it's more like a chore. They're releasing it more often than they used to. What the, the dub scene? I'm going to do another video on this. I think the dub got worse. Now that I'm really thinking that. Annie's lobby wasn't very bad. Annie's lobby, Water 7, the beginning half was bad, but what I would say the Shabondi, Thriller Bark. And then I really, one of those arts, it went, it went, it was like we had a really long span, we're not really getting anything, then we started getting it. Now we're getting a lot of it, and it's not very good. So I don't know what's going on, if they're not interested, if they don't want to do it anymore. But I'm like, I really like the One Piece dub. If you watch it, you're gonna watch the entire video. If you did, tell me your thoughts on the One Piece dub in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe for, for more One Piece content. And the One Piece Nation signing out. Um, if you enjoy the dub, good for you. I don't enjoy it. That is my opinion. This is not a sub versus dub debate. Because that debate is stupid and it's annoying. So please, please don't debate that.